All right, guys, it is Saturday. We are taking progress pictures, and I don't know about you guys, but me and Autumn for years have been so just disappointed in trying to find the right light for progress pictures and to make it look good. And then on top of that, we both did YouTube deep, deep dives on YouTube, and there's really not a lot of good content about lighting and how to get the right lighting for your progress pictures. Right, Autumn? Right, Brent. Right. <laughs> Anyways, um, our buddy Steve helped us out and he does a lot of things with uh, movies and camera and everything like that. And we basically have it set up now to where we should have consistent good lighting for all of our progress pictures. So as you can see, um, we've got a coal bar light. It is a 65 watt light up here and then we have a 60 um, centimeter newer soft box okay and the soft box what that's going to do is kind of disperse the light evenly just so it's good light um, the wattage is also turned as wide as it can and if you notice with the soft box it's set up high because you want it set up high because you want it to come down on your muscles kind of at an angle so you, you look you know the best in the lighting if it's directly right on you it's kind of going to wash you out a little bit so you want it a little bit higher and then off to the side a little bit to get the best lighting so literally we actually now have a piece of tape here to where we will hit our progress pictures and we actually have a piece of tape here for our lights we're actually in our spare bedroom doing this so we spared our spare bedroom into a posing studio for the time being <laughs> so hopefully this helps you just because i didn't find a lot of good content on how to do this and this is pretty inexpensive i usually get a lot of our electronics off ebay the light itself was generally used i think we got that for like 60 or 70 dollars we got the light stand off of amazon for about 30 dollars or 40 dollars and the soft box i got off of ebay for about another 40 dollars so within a hundred dollars you can have perfect lighting and then so you this can, tripod with the remote yeah and that's about another 15 dollars. but literally you can have a good lighting for all of your progress pictures when you guys are trying to do that for hundred to two hundred dollars and you're gonna put the links below and I will put the links below but that's what we got going on with our setup so well now what we're going to do and granted you know I'm still 14 weeks out from my show I'm going to hit a few poses in this dingy dull lighting that we have and then I'm gonna have autumn turn on the light just so you can see the difference in how lighting can either make or break you number one and how much more you can see from proper lighting so here we go right, so what we're gonna do is I'm gonna hit a front double and a back double with this crappy lighting then I'm going to have Autumn turn on the um, softbox so you guys can see the difference. And our professional recommendations from Steve were all these people using their teeth to hit the remote. Don't do that because over time you're going to break your remote. So now hopefully you can see how much better and how much clearer it will be to have good light on you. And this really makes a huge difference. So we worked really hard getting the shadow you can still see on the wall. Um, more just in front of him so we learned that like if you step closer to the wall you're gonna have less of a shadow um, but you know we're, we kind of just worked with what we had in this room and then also if the light is off you actually look better I think that that might have got moved when I vacuumed come forward yeah I think you should have posed I think we I think um, I'm clean the room let me see around. well no it's where it was yeah. um but we learned that you know the light if it's to one side of you basically it's going to project the shadow diagonally so keep that in mind too um and then also you're wanting the light to be more aimed at like the center of your body so and above 
yeah but like where if you if you vision the beam coming down like where it would it like where it would be more center so basically the light is coming up on top and then shadowing underneath so as long as the light is hitting above then you'll have a shadow underneath that makes everything more etched out yeah and like like i said um we're just gonna play around with this but at least now the biggest thing with progress pictures if you're doing it yourself or you have a coach is it's consistent and it's good lighting so i think we have that and as the weeks progress and as we get leaner and leaner and more ready for our show i think we'll have more of a consistent progress picture so this doesn't look so dingy like this light just really make everything pop i know a lot of people you could probably put a black sheet over this mm -hmm. or get a black pop-up tent which would help as well um, but for now what we're doing is we're just um yeah, this is how we're going to do it. Yeah, well, and then we also learned, too, without, I don't even know what this thing is called, but that big umbrella of a thing, when that wasn't on yet, the shadow was a lot worse. So then we put that on the diffuser, I think is what it's, it's called. The diffuser, softbox. So then, yeah, so then that made it a lot better because it was literally like a monster on the wall. Yeah. <laughs> All right, hopefully you guys uh, see this, and this might help you. If you want to drop us a comment or if you just want to personal message me or Autumn, I'm on our Instagram. Um, that is fine, but we'd be more than happy to help you. But this has plagued us for years, and I see so many like top level bodybuilders that don't have good progress pictures. And I think that's really important as you work with your coach and to you know see how you're progressing over the time that you're doing, whether you're in an off season or a contest prep. So stay tuned, and we're gonna go hit a shoulder workout right now. And the same goes for hitting us up to help us. <laughs> yeah. Because we are just starting this. Exactly. So this is our starting point for this. And we are very novice and open to suggestions. Yes. So this is with the room light off. And then a minute ago we had the room light on. So off, so that's important is to try to get all the other light out of the room. Natural lighting from the sun is also good, you know, but when you're at shows and stuff, that's kind of hard. Um, a good place we've found is actually in the elevator with the light above you. That's a good tip or taking off lampshades. So that's another good tip. 